What's up everybody? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. So a few days ago, I dropped a video talking about how easy it is to do chroma key with a green screen. Very simple, very easy. A lot of comments hit that video saying that, hey, could you show us how to do that on the smartphone? And at first, I didn't have no idea that you could do this on a smartphone until a couple of people hit me up and say, yes, you could do this on PowerDirector, uh, the full version of PowerDirector on a smartphone. I'm like, okay, cool, because I, I edited a lot of my videos on Adobe Rush for the Galaxy device. Well, Come to find out, I downloaded the full version of PowerDirector, and yes, you could do chroma key, green screen effects on your device, on any smartphone actually. So the scenario is you could use your smartphone to film yourself behind the green screen. You could use PowerDirector on your device to chroma key yourself out and change the background. I'm gonna show you all of that in this video. So sit back, relax, and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. All right, guys, so I'm about to show you the full tutorial on how to uh, do chroma key in PowerDirector. Now, I took all the files that I need to do this and put it on my Galaxy Note 10. And you can use your Galaxy Note 10 to film the whole footage uh, and make sure you have your files on your Galaxy Note 10. That's the most important part. You need to have all your screenshots, all your files already on your Galaxy Note 10. So right now I'm using Dex uh, on my Galaxy Note 10 so I can show you guys in full screen here, but you can use the S Pen uh, with, with, the, with your Galaxy Note 10 to do the, all this editing. Also, you don't have to use the Galaxy Note 10, but I'm showing you with the Galaxy Note 10 and Dex. All right, so let's go on and open up Power Director on my screen. I'm about to share it so y'all guys can see this. Okay, so here's my computer screen, and uh, what I want to open up Dex. So this is Dex. Again, you don't have to use this, but I'm using this for this video purpose. And I'm going to open up Power Director. Again, you have to have all the files already on your on your Galaxy Note. This is the only way it's going to work. So long as you have your files on the Galaxy Note or on your smartphone, you fine. So you want to hit new project. You want to give it a name and we're going to name it test and we go to 16 by nine. All right. So what you're looking at right now is all the files that's on my smartphone. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to get the photo first of the background that I want to use. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and add the green screen in that I already done. All right. So I already filmed myself doing the green screen. So I want to add that in to my project. All right, so now I have my green screen video that I already recorded in the mix here. Okay, so if I hit play, and there it goes. So that's me, the green screen uh, background, and that's me right there in the middle. All right, so as you can see, I'm in the middle here, uh, and when I click on it, now I can do some editing, all right? And, but I want to move myself to the side right here, right? And I'm gonna make myself a little bigger. And all I'm doing is just dragging and dropping, right? Make myself a little bigger. As you can see, you see all that green, but uh, I'm about to get rid of that green right now. See right here at the top, you got your editing tool and you're gonna see what's say chroma key. Right there you see chroma key. So when I click on chroma key, now it's, I can go ahead on the key out the green. Now I hit my little hourglass here and uh, I just want to click on a part of the video that's green and there it is. Now I'm completely chroma keyed out. Now you can make your adjustment with color range and denoise and stuff like that. So I might hit denoise up a little bit and I'm cool right there. Look like I'm all right, all right? So let's go ahead and click the back and uh, I want to take this uh, part of the video. I want to stretch that out a little bit. All right, so I can get nice little longevity on that. And I probably want to go all the way to the to the end with that. So here we go. Really quick, the hit play. So that is, I just chroma keyed myself out of the green screen and I have myself inside another photo. And I did all this on PowerDirector. And this, it was really easy, really simple. 
and if, I mean really easy and simple to do this. Okay, so let's recap. Now you don't have to use decks. You can use your device and you use your hand and all that stuff like that. All the thing I did was I recorded myself and you can use it with your phone in a green screen environment. And once you do that, uh, once you get it to the editing tool, you just have to dra drag and drop your footage on the timeline. If you already use PowerDirector or if you already use editing software, this is relatively new. I mean, relatively easy. It's, it's the same thing you do on any editing software. You take the footage and you add it to the timeline. Nice and simple, really easy to do. Now, in order to chroma key yourself out, you just click on the, the footage on the timeline and you hit the editing button and you see what's called chroma key. So when you click on chroma key, boom, you just uh, take the hourglass and you just tap it on the green surface. Once you tap it on the green surface, it's gonna have this checkerboard look as you can see. That checkerboard means that the background is totally gone. Uh, and once you do that, you are good to go. Now you do have to play around with your denoise and your color range and stuff like that. To get the, all the green out. And once you do that, you find you gravy. The next thing you wanna do is find a background, whether or not you're gonna use an animated background or a solid background from anywhere, it don't matter. And then once you put that in, you just put that on the top, top line. So you put your, your steady image or your uh, animated image on the top line, and then you usually put your chroma key image on the bottom line. And there it is. So once I play it, there it is. Okay, so I want to show you guys, it's about a minute and a half, the complete chroma key that I did straight from Power Director right here. So check this out. Downtown, I got that heat, let's go. All right guys, so this is a video sample of me standing behind the green screen in my studio. I think this is fantastic. Using Power Director and Chroma Key, now you can edit on the go using your smartphone, filming yourself behind the green screen and using Chroma Key and Power Director to Chroma Key yourself out and change the background. This is awesome, right? Because I never saw and I never played with it before. This is my first time using Power Director on a smartphone, so this is awesome. So everything that I'm gonna do in this video is gonna be edited on Power Director. This is nice and I, I love it. This is something unique to me because I use Adobe Rush and Adobe Rush unfortunately does not have chroma key uh, in the app. So um, using the Galaxy Note 10 Plus that I'm editing on, right? Using Dex that y'all guys saw me with earlier today, uh, doing full editing, it is a fantastic type of scenario. So I can use Power Director and I can use Dex to kind of get all the work done that I need to get done. This is fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial video with me green screening and I can change the backgrounds as you just saw me change the background a few times. And I can do so much with different types of backgrounds using green screen effects with Power Director. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about Power Director and all his glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.